thank you and everybody for uh, tuning in to Carrie's Hagee Cafe. My name is Carrie Ann Hartley Sikowski, and I am your host. Um, what we do here is we um, try to reach out to the world. That's myself and my guardians, and we have the fabulous Tom on chat, and we have Amnon uh, producing the show, and Nick on on um, uh, taking the phone calls. So all we ask, we have a little bit of uh, about what we do here real quick. Um, we have some newcomers, and thank you all for joining us. And we have our other crew who's just been with us every Sunday, and I want to God bless you. Thank you all so much. Hey, the more worldwide we go, the more help we give people, the more chance somebody has in order to ask a question that could change their lives and help them in so many ways. Um, I wanted to tell you that basically what we do here is it's a call in or it's a chat in the chat room. I answer all the chat questions you come as a screen name of yourself because I know people get weird with all this stuff going on. Our number here is 919-518-9773. You can call, you can chat, you can watch, or you can listen. We'd rather you not do that. But if you feel that you need some time in order to figure out if this is what you really want to do, because some people just don't want to hear the truth and they don't want to hear what's going on, um, then we ask that you listen and you share it with somebody today. After tonight, we want you to share it with one or two people so that next week we're even more successful. We ask, the rule is about the chat room and about the phone calls. We want you to ask one question, and if we get to everybody in the show, We'll go on to the second question. So what I want to say is, hey to Amnon. Hi, Amnon. Hello. <laughs> That's Amnon, and he's my producer. Um, and then, again, we have chat and everything. Um, and though we, um, though when we do take a second one, I'll let you know that we're going to the second round. Tonight, tonight's show is dedicated to a new spirit that I have with me constantly, dear to my heart. Her name is Lisa. Um, her family and town are working so hard in order to uh, clear her name from a suicide to a homicide. Um, and they basically have picked me to help with the case. So I want to do my shout outs and my shout outs. One of them is to the family and to Lisa, because, um, I'm going to do what I can in order to let you know that Lisa, we got this. All right. Um, so a little bit also about what happened, um, on 517, I was on a show called beyond the edge of reality with Evan and Jason. Um, it was an awesome show. It was an hour and a half of readings and we nailed that. The Guardians and I, and we've helped a lot of people and gained a lot of respect from it. And that's what we're about here on the Civil Communication, Carrie Psychic Cafe. Um, and uh, Jason and, um, and Evan are awesome, too. Um, what new is going on also is that we were just a second time around on the 18th. I was there with Larry the Brave. And that's in Washington, New Jersey. And second time around is a time and shop that has absolutely everything. G has her baby stuff in the back. And that I wanted to say shout out to Chris. And Larry the Brave is with me. Everybody knows about Larry the Brave, right? Larry the Brave and Nikki Marie are going to be in our room tonight. So if you want to, like, talk with them about gigs and booking them, you can do so also tonight. Um, another two quick question things that were going on here is that basically um, – one question is, and if for new people that are listening, I look up and I thank my guardians every time they give me an answer. Because without them, I know, I always say, and I'm supposed to say differently, they want me to say that I am. I basically interpret what they say. Um, I help them. I'm gifted that way. I've had three wonderful, wonderful guardians. And that this is um, basically going worldwide. May 28th, I am going to be on um, Ghost Hunters. Um, no, May 28th, I'm going to be on the Mike and Morph show, and it's uh, New Jersey Homegrown Radio Station, and it's live. It's 6 to 9. I'm going in the station. I'll be taking all readings. So I'm going to start be doing also a newsletter that's going to be going out regarding what I do May 30th, Ghost Chat Radio at 9 p.m. Um, and, again, I have uh, my telephone number here is 919. 518-9773. Uh, they'll be posting it through my chat. You can chat. You can ask a question. You can do, you know, you can call in. Also, I'm available above my head for emails. I do personal readings. Um, I do in Skype. I do groups, group session events. I do uh, FaceTime and phone. Uh, above my head, if you mention the show, you get 15 minutes on extra your reading for booking your reading after the show tonight. Just click on my head above it. Everything's awesome. You can Facebook me. My Facebook is Carrie Ann Hartley Sikowski. Request me as a friend. Inbox me anything you want to do with the readings or a question. And also, I'm at Twitter. So all those wonderful things are amazing, amazing up there. Listen, live testimonial every week. Just rewatch the shows. So we're ready to hit it. We're ready to go live. And we're ready to go. I know that we have a certain amount of chat questions. And Amnon, is there going to be on the phone yet? Yes, ma'am. I want you to go ahead and talk with Ann. Hey, Ann. How okay. are you? Hi. Um, hey, babe. I just want to tell you that uh, two years ago, a very dear friend of mine passed away, 
And she left her daughter behind, and I want her to know that her daughter's with me because she always worried about how she would be, you know, alone without her because we miss her so much. And we want to know if she, uh, how, you know, if she knows that we're together and her daughter is taking care of her cat. Which she yeah, so she wants. She much. wants to know about the cat. Um, First of all, she says thank you. Very, oh, thank you, my guard. Thank you very much for everything and how successful her daughter is. Now, is there a grandchild involved here, or it's just a cat? Where does the child come from? No, I, I guess there is grand. She has a grand, two grandsons. Right, and, and she wants to say that she's. Uh, Tell her I, I talked to her last. Uh, her yes, I know. Call, I know. I lost. We lost week. Joey. Joey's with us also tonight. So we've lost Joey, and we're here with Nathan. And she wants to let her know, let you know that she watches over Nate like you wouldn't believe, because she does not want anything to happen. He has gifts. He just has to come out with them. I'm afraid about the entities that are going on right now in your house because somebody used to practice black magic in there. So I want you to know that she's there all the time, kind of like making everything right, okay? Um, and cancer, it's a big yeah. issue. Um, so I just want you to know that she's with you, but there's things in the house that are going on that if you let some things go and cleanse the house and smudge the house, that you would definitely be able to like bring her in more. Because her daughter is very, very clairvoyant. And you have a little bit of ability too, ma'am. It's just that you need to understand that. And thank you. Oh, she said, thank you for taking the responsibility on. And thank you so much for doing it. Do you acknowledge that? Hey, does, she, does she know that we love her and that, um, I just that, that Kathy yeah. and Joni and, and all right. of us are, are missing her so very much? And um, right. we, we have different things that happen. Our lights go flicker in and out, and wondering right. if that's her telling us that she's there. Yeah, I think if before, if you could just listen um, to, you could rewatch this later on, and I kind of all answered that just before. Um, she's there, but there's certain things that are going on right now in your home that there, especially there's a portal which is called in your bathroom, and you need to, your daughter needs to, and she's doing what she can with lavender. She needs to banish and get rid of that so that you, that she could come in stronger. But she does see you. She doves you. She protects you. Now, somebody was not doing something right in that. Thank you. Somebody was not doing something right in that house for a while now. Um, and he's left. So you need to get rid of all the stuff that he had or anybody left behind in order to make that house clean, is what I'm saying. And, um, and she has your, and she has your uh, daughter's other son who passed off, and his name is Joseph. So I wanted to say um, if there was anything else that you wanted to ask her. Um, no, that we, we hold on. Hi, I'm sorry. I was trying to listen. I'm June, and I <laughs> called you last week and I spoke to you about my mother that passed away. Right, 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 right. We got you. Hello? We got you. Yeah, I can't, yeah, and I was trying to hear on the other side of Anne uh, about something in the bathroom. Yeah. Right. You need to watch out for something in the bathroom. There's something going on um, that brings in something, things like lights are flickering on and off and things are going on, on and off. And there's a little boy that's yeah. also running around. So I just, I just need you to understand that maybe you can do some cleansing in the house and maybe get rid of something that could be a little bit bad there um, and get it out. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, my, well, my lights in my apartment... Um, I'm the daughter. They just right. started to flick right now about like a half hour ago. But well, Anne said she gets on. flickering yeah. in her home. That, that, that happens when I sometimes do my show, too. So just be careful with that. It might be me, yeah. but I'm just, the, the, your mother, she's telling me can, that. Can I ask you, have, you can, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello? I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to say, um, after my mother, m- my mother, I had my mother's ashes uh, here for two months before we could afford to bury her. And right. after when she was buried, um, uh, uh, about a week or two later, at, in the middle of the night, my TV went on all by itself, and it was Jay Leno wearing an oxygen mask. And my mother died with an oxygen mask on. 
Yeah. Oh, no, she, cut me. she told me that. That's not what she's concerned about right now. What she's concerned about is that you guys understand she's with you all the time, but there's something going on in, in, okay. in the house that you need to get addressed so that she could come in even clearer. So there's signs, there's different signs all over oh. the place. And she's at peace, tell she oh. let your mother know she's she, she's at peace, okay? Thank you very much for calling. You can chat in the chat room. I have I have like five hundred chat questions I gotta get to also. So you can chat any more questions. If you want to chat in the chat room, you can. Our number here is thank you for calling and God bless and I hope you could email me a question if you like. Uh nine one nine five one eight nine seven seven three. We're here, we're live and um we're happening. Um again talk, everybody Talk to Bob. Hey Bob. Hey Carrie. Hey, what's up? Well, um, I'm curious about the future. Uh, my mom passed away April 1st, and I was her caregiver for a few years, and it just seems like things have come to abrupt end as far as my life wow. right now. And yeah. I'm wondering, like, you know, what's the next step going to be? Um, what's on the horizon? Well, as if there for is your anything. future, oh, of course there is. Don't ever think that way. Um, Thank you. The Guardians say that, and, and she's, oh, wow. She said, well, you know, you're aware that she was very aware that you didn't have to do what you did for her. You did it out of the kindness and love of your heart. Um, and it took a very right. big man of you to let some of your life go in order to take care of her. And she wants to just say thank you for that. Um, but she also wants you to say that there's something going on with you as far as in your head as far as, like, what actually you want to go forward with. What is your multi-talented in? She keeps on, like, showing me all different things that you're talented in, and you need to address it. Um, so, and what's with cars? Is there, I, there, She's showing me, like, can you tell me, Cardi? Okay, so, now, now she's showing, there's showing me a ton of things that you're great at. What is your passion? Research. Like car, I get you. Cars, all that kind of stuff. But what is it, and what is it, so are you into the research also with as far as like anything to do with ghosts and spirits or anything? Because you have, you have a little bit of a gift. Have you ever um, thought about yeah. that? Yeah. Um, there are times where, you know, certain things come to mind or I can pick up certain right. vibes that ring right. true. Right. Um, right. Uh, professionally, I used to do financial and legal research. Yeah, yeah, that's not about the I know, I know. She told, she showed me the money sign. I'm not going here with this. I just need you to know that um, to develop the concept to do something differently with research is where you're at. You need to, like, bring mm -hmm. something new to the table and make research and make sure that I know that you, you have an ability, but can you put all those things together and create something for yourself and network it? And that's where she's at. Uh, like, I'm going to have to, like, give it some thought and, like, plan it yeah. out. You have to. You have to. I mean, if you email me, I could always, like, refer back to what we talked about and rewatch the show. Because, okay. All right. Madison Fresh. Mad she says, Madison Fresh. Um, thank you. Can you. Madison Fresh Associates. They're the people that you need to contact in order to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do. It's a marketing skill that Madison they have. Madison Fresh Associates? Yeah. Yeah. That's what she just said. So I'm pretty usually on the money with stuff like that. I mean, I might spell it wrong sometimes. Sorry. But um, she said that you need, that's the concept of what they're looking for. You're such a searcher and you really pull things apart. And you need to like really, really, re you really, really get yourself together before you go straight. Life didn't start, life did exactly. not stop. Life did not stop. You need to remember that and move on from it. Well, it kind of feels it right now. You know? Well, it's grieving. It's grieving. And she feels it, too, being on the other side. She misses the hell out of you. But the part of what I'm trying to explain to you is that from her leaving opens up this now mm -hmm. whole new avenue for you. Could you just, like, you know, move forward and think forward and kind of, like, bring down the wall a little bit? Life didn't stop. It just begun. And I'm not just, I'm not just blowing smoke up your butt. I'm, I'm serious when I tell you that she said you need to, like, you've fallen before and you've gotten up. Get up this time. Bob, get up. Robert, get up. So, uh, <laughs> it sounds like her. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what you just said. Robert, get up. Okay? All right? So um, I've got to go right now because I have, like, I have like 100 track questions also to do, and I don't want to, like, take a burden. Sure. I want to thank you so much, uh, Bob. Thank you so much. And uh, my website is above my head. Book a reading. You know, my Twitter. And if you Facebook me, if you Facebook me, um, you can, I'll, I'll, we'll friend and, We'll rock it. I'll help you. That's what I'm here for. 
Thank you so All much. Right. Well, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. All right, my love. Thank you. Tune in again next week and let us know what rolls, what happens. We want everybody to call back and tell us how great everything is, okay, or what's going on, and so we can help again. Carrie, okay. there are two people waiting, but go ahead and take something from the chat. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, hi, Laura. I have to answer some questions right now. Hi, Laura. Sorry. We to get, I told you. It gets busy. Um, is there any more messages that my loved one who wants to pass? Your father. Keep going. Don't give up. It's a, actually a grandfather and a father figure. Do not give up. Go forward. Do not stop at what you're doing, Laura. You're on the right path. I know so many times you feel like you're all alone and you just have your mom, whatever. But I want to tell you something right now. And, oh, a grandmother figure comes in with you. Elaborate. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. So you have to, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do with that, with the whole gift and, and the paranormal thing. You know what you need to do, but you need to focal point on it. You need to focal point on it and you need to go forward with that. Okay. Um, and he says, you got to keep on going on. Don't let anything that's happened to you kick your butt, get going with it because him and your grandfather and then now, Oh, thank you. Grandma. I, I need to, I, the whole family's here now. So I got to move on to the next check question, but email me and you, you Facebook me, you know, the deal. Hey, die. How you doing there, girlfriend? Well, I got a new job soon. Yeah, but, like, you're going to get your... Oh, man, you need to sharpen up your resume, girlfriend. You're, like, so big... Like, you need to, like... And you're, you're missing focal points, and some, there's a word spelled wrong on your on your resume. Um, you need to... Yes, you will. Um, thank you. Can you give me a date? All right, June 10th. June 10th. Listen, June 10th. But I'm going to tell you something right now, Di. It's not going to be something that you're going to be interested in, in the beginning because you're not going to, you're just going to have to take it. You got to like pay your bills and, and just like seriously consider the fact of like, you know, like there's a, fr- they, can we, can we twist this around for Diane? There's, there's a friend in your life that I really need you to like, like rethink about the situation and a love issue. So you got a couple things going on. It's not the, there's something going on. I, I just, I feel a heavy heart with you. I feel a heavy heart. Okay. Next bass. Hi, I would like to know and hear from, and my father can shed on a death. He died in 1980. Bass. Oh wow! All right, so Bats, um, this is a com- this is really um, a complicated situation. Um, I know that he died uh, in 1980, and um, you needed in- and you needed closure, and you need closure, and you need to know that he's okay. Um, what happened was tragic, and what happened he was he was like. He wants to say, like, the suffering no more and gone. So, and, and he's making me feel, like, bad feelings. So, I was thinking that it could have been something that he could have taken care of or in something. And also, oh, wow. And something, like, right here. Like, in the, oh, it's his heart. Okay. So, why does he say the, the tongue of the guardians are telling me his heart. His heart. Boom. 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 Like that. Um, so, who got his car? He's still concerned about the car. I don't, I, there's something about a car. So, um, if you would elaborate in the chat room, then we can get back to that fast, please. Because something's going on here. We got so many people. And uh, do we have another question? Because I got like a hundred more chat. Yes, ma'am. Uh, go ahead Hi. and talk with Rosemary. Uh, hey, Rosemary. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm awesome. What's up? What can I do before? I I wanted to know if you had any messages from my mother. Um, so what are we talking about? We're talking about the belongings of hers that she's thank you that she comes in so far, so clear of right now. Do you do you have something that belongs to her that you actually wear or is around you? She showed me several items um, that I have, have left. A charm. Yeah, she said just you know, and you also you gotta watch you gotta watch something about the clip part because she keeps on showing me this. When you clip it, watch out. Um, cause there's something in the back okay. that's going to fall off and leave and leave her. Um, she's also more concerned about that. You don't take enough time to take care of you. All you do is worry, 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 okay. stress, stress, stress. You have to promise me cause mom's here with us with the guardians. You have to promise me that from this day forward today, you're going to start thinking more about Rose Murray, right? Yes. Okay. I will. Because- and how about my dad? Um, he's still with me, but, um, yes. Well, we're going to get to that. Let me, let, let me get to, could I just finish with you? Because I know that she wants to talk about that. But yeah. she's also concerned about um, the financial well-being regarding you. Um, and, and are you dad's she's caretaker? I'm sorry? 
Are you, you? I need you. I need you focus with me. Are you? Are you? Got? Are you around Dad all the time? Are you like someone of his like is like caretaker? Not that he, you know. Like, are you like around him a lot? No, he's in another state. Yeah, but are you like in conversation with him? I'm getting some here with this. Yes. Just trying to be kind. Okay, somebody needs to check more on Dad, is what she said. So somebody needs to understand that Dad is not like really understanding the concept of like and he's like losing things and he's not and he's like either he's hiding it or he's not coming out there's something that needs to be checked and evaluated about your father she's very concerned she watches this every yes. day okay so i need you to understand that if We're you can just to... check on that that would be great i understand That's... what you're saying we're trying to get him to move out here and he won't leave because yeah. he's afraid no, he's, he's stubborn. Gonna leave her there she said she said he's not he's stubborn he always has been but you're a lot like that too, she said. Yeah. Um, but you you take after him sometimes too. So I just need you to understand that if you can do that, you can and, and get that finally out here, we can get to the um to the to the heart and the root of the things. And he start he needs to start taking something for that issue, um, along with some kind of um yeah. some some kind of sugar problem. So um, I'm sorry to just do this to you. You can go into the chat room. Um, if we have time to take another second question, you can email me um, above me, find out a little bit about me and. We can move forward. I thank you so much, Rose. Our number here is 919-518-9773. We're here. We're live. And hopefully we're rocking it, world. All right. Um, talk, go ahead okay. and talk to Linda. Hi, Linda. Hello. How Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm okay. What's up? Well, I'm real concerned about my son. He's acting real weird, and he's gotten to the point where he's even getting cruel. I don't know if there's something up with him or... And well, is my is my mother's spirit around me at all? Is she watching all the any time. of this? Mom's, mom's here right guidance? now. Yeah, mom's here right now. I don't mean to cut you off, but right away you oh. need to get him. Oh. You need to. Get, it's the type of people that he's hanging around with, and he's going through. He's very very defiant. Um, yes. But it's also about he has he's holding something over that something like is like you're either too. Can he say it? Oh, you're too on him. Is what it is. He's like he's oh. feeling he's feeling an itch. So. Things would change if you just said to him, and I'm not, um, and this is just our, gu thank you, our guardian saying, if you pull back a little bit, not a lot, a little bit, and you, and you, and you stop trying to want to get involved, and you just go about your own thing, this will all crap will all go away. Thank you. And it's, it's just one person that he's hanging out with that's putting it in his head. It's got nothing to do with that. And I would definitely think about a change up of like something that he does regarding something different. Like uh, what's with video games? What's with that? And with music. Um, you need to change up some um, of his life, sure. life situations. Yeah. He's got some influence you, going on there, there, babe. He's got some influence going on. So oh, we need to uh, evaluate that. But it'll work out. Mom's, mom's with you. It's just a matter of like how much could she do in order to change him. It's pull up, like I said, pull it back. Don't you disinterest for a little while and watch it change around. And just once in a while mention that it would be nice to change your friends up a little because it's a character. Right? Thank you. Oh, my God. That's Thank so you wonderful. So Thank you. For, that was great, great advice. So Thank you so much, my love. 919-518. Uh, no, 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 no. We, yeah, what number uh, now? Yeah, don't, don't mention the 919 because it seems like there are some problems. What are we doing? Right here, so do the, do the direct... All well, right, Jeff, two, Jeff got in on the 919, so now I don't know. Okay, so it's 323-792, three, three, is it 3050? Yep. Okay, well, I got that back up already. Okay, that's How about all right. That? Okay. All right, so am I saying that number to everybody now? Yeah. Okay, could I take a chat, couple chat questions you can, or no? Yeah, Jeff is waiting, but you can go well, ahead Jeff, and... Sorry, Jeff, give me one couple seconds. Bass, my father's death was not clear as to children's death. Did we have this one already? Yeah, but she just wanted to give you more insight on it. No, he was killed. I know he was killed, but it was from the heart. I know he was killed. His owner was, he was killed. I know he was killed. And he was killed by one, by, by, actually by a woman. I got this. I knew that. But I'm not, I didn't know if she wanted me to say it live, so now I just did. You need to contact me. We need to, you need to get investigated. Hey, Linda, um, and I'm not trying to be, I'm, I'm serious. He was here and he said, look, I was killed, okay? I was killed. So I guess I could say it live. Thank you, Guardians. Thank you. Linda, Carrie, can you tell me what is going on with my son? Is that the one that just called? He's so weird today yes, to me. Yes, oh, yes, yes. You need to let me know this, Thomas. Okay, well, All right? You know, do your chat. Tell people if they're calling in, do not chat the questions in the chat room. Um, Amory, 
I'm not trying to yell at you. I'm serious. All right, handle the chat. Amory, the company that I work for um, lost a bid and renewal in the contract. Oh, sorry about that, Amory. At my place of employment, will I stay with them or a new company? Um, the same company. Okay. Ooh. What's going on with you with health? What's going on with headaches? Amory, what's up with that? Um, the company that you're going to... Um, I know they lost a bid. Thank you. They lost a bid. Um, but you know what? I think that, that the opportunity of arrival, it's called, thank you, is the opportunity of arrival is that through that company, another job will, will surface. And they're going to have... Um, oh. Blue Cross Blue Shield, New Jersey. Okay, so you're going to get Blue Cross New Jersey. Okay. The company that you're at right now, let me just put it to you as a garden so I'm not saying it the right way. The company that you're at right now is going to, I know that they didn't retake over, but somebody's going to revive it. And they're going to offer a different opportunity for you in that same facility, but not in the same location. It's not a four drive, don't flip out. It's going to be something more like a little bit, little distance, but then it's going to come up and you're going to have Blue Coast of New Jersey and it's going to have the benefits that you want. You're going to have to pay a little bit more for it, but your pay is going to be about a little bit, I say about a $10,000, 11000 more. Can you tell me again? Okay. So, all right. So, June. All right, so, so, there's no problem here with this. Um, and uh, one more question, then we'll take two. I'm sorry, Jeff. Um, Marianne, does my father have any comments on a funeral that was given to him? Okay, Marion, he, he's, uh, um, they're saying that, and he's saying a little bit different right now. He said the suit was not suited for him, um, and whoever picked that out, um, he was happy with the funeral. But there was one person in particular came to the funeral that he was not happy with that came to his funeral, but this is that he's dead. So he's really, he's got quite the humor about him. And he said, what happened to his, what happened to the, um, he had a ring, and then he had another pinky ring. So he wants to know who the hell has the pinky ring or, or why was it on his finger because he doesn't clear it. If it isn't in his, if it wasn't put into his, into his funeral box or whatever like that, could you do me a favor and like make sure that your person in your family is wearing it and doing it because he could come through better with that. Something about rings, um, and it was fine, but it's just it, it, the suit was ha- the suit. Thank you. It was was the suit and the after party with the food. Um, that's just so it's, it's just Trevor. He was happy. Very good. Okay, we can take a chat. We can take a question now, Am. Absolutely. Uh, Go well, ahead and talk with uh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. What's up? Carrie, how are you? I'm awesome. Oh, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> chat, the chat's pretty hot tonight, Jeff. We're doing pretty good here worldwide. We're spreading the news. How's it going, you my sure friend? Are. I, re- it's awesome. I, well, I received I your email for you, and I think it was awesome. Uh, well, I, I and I think that your life is better uh, now. Yes, is that true? Okay. Yes, it's getting Sorry. much better. In fact, um, I had some good news to share, and Ooh, it looks on. like I've sent the release in on the television station. I guess they're going to come up and start filming here pretty soon. <sighs> He got it! Yay! Tom and I go, yay! Yeah, so yeah you know. we knew you would do you it. We it. knew you, you could right. get this, man. <laughs> Woo! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jeff, why don't you tell everybody, why don't you tell everybody where you were at and how your life has changed so that you can inspire these people to call in and chat and change their lives. Do and do a reading. I sure will. I sure will. And you know what? I'll, I'll say it right now. I, uh-huh. I was so confused, and I felt so lost, and it was just amazing. It was just a little post on Facebook that I read, and something told me to call you and get a reading. And it just was amazing. Things have just been, like, coming coming so fast lately. I'm almost overwhelmed by all the good stuff that's happening. It's, it's right. just crazy. I've never had anything like this happen in my life. It's Carrie Psychic. It's, it's Carrie. Just, it's Carrie Psychic Cafe. You know what it is? It's the Guardians. And it's your guardians. And it's because I, I need to plug Jeff because Jeff comes from a situation that he doesn't even talk about and declare of his situation. But there's a lot that was going on in Jeff's life that he had to keep and be proud for. And um, being and knowing him, I'm truly honored because when this man comes and he's in the room every week and he emails me and he lets me know exactly where his life's going on, for you to have that TV show come into the air, what a miracle, right, Jeff? Is that just it's not a miracle? It's such a miracle. I- I'm just so blown but, away. That's all, that's let all me I tell you something. You know? Yep. 
those bills are going to be paid, my friend. Oh, it's gonna absolutely. Happen. It's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get it. Uh, you deserve I, it. If anybody deserves it, you deserve it, Jeff. You deserve it. I love you, you very you so much. Thank you, thank so, you so much, much for calling and, and sharing that with us today. Can I help you out with something on the phone today? Or Yes. Actually, there was <laughs> one question I had on my son. I'm kind of worried about him. He wants to be a fireman, and I'm right. worried about, you know, with him being shot and everything. I'm just wondering if that will be successful for him or if something positive will, will come up for him. Because right now, he's remaining positive, but I'm just so worried about him, you know, what his future right. will hold. I would I would suggest that if he works with the fire department, I wouldn't say exactly go the full distance at this point because he's still like kind of on the edge with some things. I would think it would make him completely feel like he's giving back after what happened to him. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yes, I, I just do. think that I would let I would I wouldn't deny him and and sway him because of all that he's been through. Um, just uh-huh. so everybody knows, uh, Jeff, Jeff's son was shot. Um, and rec- and actually survived. Um, it's just an amazing story. Um, you guys gotta um, gotta email him and 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 talk to him about it. Anybody out there that has had the same little situation um, and that needs some help, Jeff, are you willing to help people to let them know how to do it and and how you how, what your story oh, is? Yeah, Jeff has an amazing absolutely. story. What's your email address in case Jeff people would like to email you? They can email it R E P J E F F. Right. 60 at, at yahoo.com. Just do it. This man has taken his son, who they couldn't even find apprehensive, which I want to work on, which we'll be working on now that Jeff is getting his life together. We will be getting these criminals. Um, also, um, if you email him, you'll have an opportunity in order to uh, find out how you can be so successful um, and um, have strength and power, because that's what Jeff's about and his family. So we love you. We thank you for calling in. And uh, we thank you for all the other things, and hopefully people will reach out to you, and you can form some kind of a, a group for people who um, have to understand how to keep positive, and I guess get a great psychic, right? I don't know. I I'm just guess absolutely. I'm you're, boosting you're my guardians today. The March thing is coming up too. <laughs> oh, you know, thank I mean, it's, it's so many things are happening. They they're going to open a school out out here. It just came out of the blue. They're actually going to open a school in my little town over here, and I'm going to help it. run the school. I knew it. I told you. Were, I got this one. You were so right. I got this one. Thank you. Yeah, you hit All right, the nail Jeff. on the head with that one, too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody's been saying that lately. Everybody <laughs> hit the nail on the head, right, Tom? You're amazing. I'm not, no, I'm not amazing. My guardians are amazing. They make me amazing. Okay, thank you so much, Jeff. Yep. You can email me. Give me a call. We're, I'll talk to you later, right? I'm amazing. 919-520-9773. Okay, are we still doing that number or the new one? It's the, bo- Do both whenever you feel. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to take a couple more chat questions, Amnon, because they're like pages. Um, why aren't you using a Sharpie marker? Because it ran out of ink. Okay, here's my Sharpie marker. I can't understand them. Look what he does. He does everything in pen. And I'm supposed to read this. This is just insane. So here we go. Tom's doing a great job, though, right, everybody? Tommy's doing a great job. Cindy. Hey, Cindy. there's any health concerns I should be working on. A... My friend, Cindy. I know that, Tom. Cindy, is there... <laughs> Is there any, seriously, let me just put him on and start reading people. Go, all right. Cindy, is there any health concerns I should be worried about for anyone in my family? I'm just concerned about you. I'm really not concerned about being a health family. I'm just concerned about how you're doing, how you doing. Um, I know that you have the problem with the, with, um, the situation with your uh, secretarial. You have the situation with the, with the disability. You have the situation, hey. Thank you. So, so what's going on with you fight with the house? Wow. So you need to contact. Ask chat. What, what's going on with the house? Because I need to know. I need to know um, what's going on with the house with her. Because of the fact um, that um, I, I, I see that she needs some kind of help with a realtor status. I don't know what's going on with her home or if she needs somebody to come live with her. Hey. Oh. Guardian said roommate. I don't know why they just said that. Roommate. Um, hey. And, and Nan. Hey, Nan, worried about my daughter and her career changes. I'll take my time. I'm going too fast for the guardians, okay? Um, worried about my daughter and her changes. Okay, Nan, look. This, I'm going to throw it down. Okay, like they're going to throw it down. Your daughter needs to understand that her gifts and her talent and career 
opposite. Flip it around like she's doing. And I know it's it's a tough ride for you because you want to make sure that she does everything right and everything correct. Flip it and let her go on. And that's the way it's going to roll. We got to let them go. Got to come up with the umbilical cord. Because she will do everything she needs to do to make her life better. She's a lot like you, but she's a lot like her father's side of the family, like the ancient side of the family. Your daughter's like, thank you, two lives. Your daughter's like living two lives, just so you know. She's got so much going on that she has so, she's going on, like, she's going on, like, all different types of, like, situations with her career. Like, it's all, like, in her head. But, like, she's been like that since she's been a child. So, do you, we have another chat? We have another phone? Anything Absol- like that? Absolutely. Okay, Go let's ahead. take it. Go More ahead and talk with uh, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, it's Susan. Susan. Um, Hi. Thank you for taking my call tonight, Carrie. Anytime. What's up? Um, I'm, my mom died in 1998, right. and um, her sister, my aunt, who's my age, died in uh, 2008. And I was wondering if you can tell me anything that's coming from them or you know, signs that they're around me or anything you can tell me, please. Yeah, so when you're sitting down watching television, or I'm sorry, one does the bedroom, one does your living room, and also one does in the hallway, wherever you are. Um, There's a cold spot sometimes, and sometimes you'll get, like, a chill. That's them touching you. They need to touch you because there's something wrong with your health. So the guardians are like, you need to get yourself taken care of and and just get yourself motivated in order to take care of you. Um, So... Have you been to the doctors lately? I'm just, we're live and I don't want to I've been go going for years and I, I, I don't know if they haven't hit the right thing yet or if Could I'm I being tell you misdiagnosed. What it is? I really don't know. It, what was the last thing you said? I don't know if I'm being misdiagnosed or if they just yes. haven't hit upon it yet, but there's a multitude of things wrong with me and I feel like it's one thing causing all of it. What do you think the one thing is? I don't know, but... Um, my my mom, before she died, years before she died, when she was sick, she told me right. that I had the same thing that she did, and I am hoping I don't, but, um, is, and, and so far I haven't, you know, uh, well, anyway, I was just wondering if, if they have any messages for me or anything to tell right. me about my future or yeah. men well, no. or anything. Well, that's three questions. We do one here. I'm so sorry because I have like 100 people. I know, I know, but I mean anything that's coming from them. I don't. I'm I'm trying to tell you about your health. I'm trying to tell you what the diagnosis is, so I need you to listen. Okay? It's not what mom had, and it's not anything to do with the family had. What you have is an uncontrollable immune system of white eating your your blood cells. They're both crunching each other. And what's happening is it's becoming a distorted figure in your whole body. It's like you were inside your own enemy. And you need to understand that if you don't get this done and you don't go to a hemoglobinologist and you, you don't need to get and you need to get a focal point and you may not say, well, it is or it isn't. Do me a favor and just do it. I'm usually good. Okay, I it. went to years ago. I had that same feeling, just exactly what you're saying. And I went to a hematologist and she refused to test me. Well, she's going to she's going to make her make her test you. Well, I won't go back to the same one, but no. I should go to a no. hematologist then. Absolutely. Please do it. Guardians are never wrong. Thank you. Guardians are never wrong. And, and they're your mother. Thank and you. She keeps that's pushing the, that that's what I've been saying, and nobody right. is listening. Well, I'm telling you what it is. So I've been, I diagnose okay. a lot of people, and I help a lot of people, and, I, and, and, I, and, and that's what I do best, too. So do that and call, call the show back and let us know. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. Um, 919-518-9773. We're here. We're live. And um, we are chatting. I'm just going to do a couple of questions um, from the chat. Uh, Jean. Hey, Jean. How are you, my love? Now, I would like to know if my mother, my mother, she passed away in 1997. Has it been, do we just, do we do Jean? No. Okay. Um, well, I feel like I've known Jean. And it's Jean Marie, Jean Aunt, so, and she said something that the mother could say. Would you say her name right? Jean? Is it Jeannie, or something like that? She's it's like just Jean. It's, there's nothing else. She wasn't named after. It, it, that's just not a short name because the mother's really, really stressed, and that that's not what either she wanted to name her or whatever. All right, let's move on. Yeah, she does. She said, "Do do yourself a favor. Whatever current was or is situation with love, this needs to be reverted." 
because there is something seriously going on with your with your with your condition about trust, love, and the power of thought. Everything is all mussed up and jumbled in there. Thank you. She goes, and she's not calling her Jean. She's yeah. Called, Yep, she says my name was mom's name was Mildred, and she used to call her Jean Ann. Jean Ann, okay. You need to understand that it it's 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 not about you. It's not. It's about she has went. She's she's happy. She's peaceful. She, she's with great grandma. It's not about her. You, you have to stop holding on to things in the past and let them go. You have to just move on with the future. And I beg of you, beg of you. To think about your financial structure in your life and about where it's going to lead you. Because all about you is all about what you plan on doing from, like, take this as an eye opening experience today. Like, I want you to sit down and just write, your, write everything down on a piece of paper and take out the negative in your life. And everything will come focused. She said, That's what she begs of you. She wants you to revamp yourself, please. All right, it's um, 919-518-9773. Do we have another call, um, Mr. Rabbi? Yeah, you need to talk with Susan. Another Susan, or is it Suzanne? Susan. Hi. Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, how are you? Uh -huh. I'm trucking along. It's a busy night, thank God. More people to help today, right? Okay. Right, okay. right, right. That's well, what we can do. You can you fix? Can first of all, can you feel my energy? And are you intuitive and uh, no, uh, telepathy? Right all of the okay. above. <laughs> no, I'm not going to read your mind today. We have like over 300 people trying to call. So, do you have a question? Well, the guardians can help you. One that's going on in um, how I live my life, which my son was affected, and the other one, the relationship I'm in. One question. What is it about your son? Okay. Well, I guess I can't help my son because a relationship I'm in. Do you feel anything okay, so for that? I just feel I, like, number one, I always feel everybody's energy, but the, the guardians say that the relationship that you're in right now is substantially not, not like, um, a very powerful and in, in chat and relationship. It's like, do you know when you get the butterflies in your soul? If you're that enchantment, if that's what you, if you feel spirituality, correct? Yes. Okay, and you could actually... I feel, you I feel he's a soulmate, but he tells me things, the truth, or he says things to me that, right. uh, well, I'm not easily to hear that. I guess I wanted someone in my... to be all lovey and dovey and all right. the romance not. and not so he's truthful. Not. No, no, no. He's all about the truth, sweetheart. You better accept that. But you, I, thank you, the guardians are like, she needs somebody to hug her and kiss her and, you know, and like when you're out in public, hold hands and like him, like, like you're looking for that, that look and you're looking for that touch. This man is just more of, he's going to tell you the way, the truth. He's going to tell you how it is. And, it, you know, some characters of men like Tom, my husband, a total engineer. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, but He's not a very touchy person either. Like, he's not like, oh, just give me a kiss. I'm like, you know, I don't even, it's like, that's the way it is. So, you, you uh -huh. either, I don't, the guardians are telling me, soulmate, eh, that's you're so maybe. Busy, maybe. Um, I'm not with you. And then, and then maybe not, but it's up to you. It's up to you. Uh -huh. I, I'm asking you to keep your heart, I'm asking you to keep your mind, your soul, and your spirit open. That's what I beg of you. Okay. Okay, right, and I just find love with about him, your son. and I know he's authentic. It's just that, can he be a little more affectionate and hold my hand in public like the, all the other men did that were creeps? I don't have that. <laughs> I mean, not creeps, but oh, they saw me as a body and I had no mind. <laughs> it's just like, good. it's so, that was, that it's was total good. opposite. I like that. So thank you. You made me laugh tonight. Thank you. Yeah, they, <laughs> you know what? They are creeps, some of them. They are creeps. So we're going to man bash right now, everybody. Sorry, I'm not. No, Tom's not a creep. <laughs> no, I shouldn't say creeps. I won't say creeps, but they no. want you to be their showpiece, and Absolutely. they want to be affectionate in public so that everyone will see, look what I got. She belongs right. to me. And this right. one is like, he opens the door and acts like a gentleman. It, right, I know just, that. I'm not, not saying he's not a gentleman. I'm saying that he could be more loving. Yeah. Lovey he could be more loving and hold my hand and walk right. with me like, in public like that. Right. Absolutely. And I, you know what, more, listen, universe, guardians, let's just give this girl all the prayers and hopes that maybe, she, maybe sit, thank you. The guardians are like possibility of sitting down and asking him to do it more. Did you ever consider thank having you, but coaching? You know what? 
if you if you I know if you're if you're if you if you're like your parents, you know, if your mother wasn't so affectionate to you growing up, yeah, it, and you didn't see that true. love from your mother, it's hard it's for true. a guy to act that way. Maybe, huh? Right. Well, no. What my I could bring father, it out of him. Well, I'm going to give you an example right now and throw it down. My husband, mm -hmm. his mother was extremely affectionate. His father was the cold dog. So, bottom line uh -huh. is that, and he still is. Uh, bottom line is that Tom, the little affection that he does do is from his mother. Now, it could be opposite with your man. See, everybody's different, babe. Have you ever had it? Uh -huh. you know, like, I, I, so, do me a favor. You got to keep your universe open. You got to keep your, your spiritual open, and you got to see what's going on. All right. Thank you. I guess I just Thank need to hear mom. that. And hey, I mean, on everything else, he's just amazing. It's just that yeah. just holding your hands in public. You know, well, I thought for the bad guys that hold your hands in public that are very uh, affectionate, but they're not that great uh, guys. All <laughs> right. I'm sorry about that, my love. Um, I have to go now, okay. but you can email me All if right, that bye -bye. other question about your son. Just you. She didn't listen to it. Listen, if you're hearing me and you're off, you can email me about the son's question. Okay, uh, 919-518-9773. Um, we have Nikki Marie. So um, so how long is it going to take me to get my career up? Nikki Marie, you wrote this question to me in the chat. You, did, are you serious? You're, like, you're, like, you, you're working with people. You're working with songwriters. I mean, uh, and you're... You just need to, like, you know, change your lifestyle and maybe, like, get medicine for your daughter and your life will be amazing. Next question. I also wanted to know when you're going to go to Nashville. Well, you're going to Nashville in 2000, 2014, and it's in November, and it's going to be, like, a really, really whack type of situation for you. But, you know, why you why you ask me that stuff? Like, I talk to her, like, almost every freaking day. 919-518-9773. Uh, Woo! It's hot. I'm not. It is a hot man. We are rocking tonight, huh? You Damn. have two people waiting. I will. I will take the call right now. All right. Don't so go ahead and talk with Amanda. Don't want to get Amanda pissed. Okay. Amanda. Hello. Hi, Amanda. How are you? What's up? I'm good. How are you? Oh, she's cute. Listen um, to that voice. I was. Oh. I'm a freshman in college, and I want to know if my career choice is the right one. Nope. What? So, so the guardians say, no. and your, and your, and and actually, your great grandmother, who's your guardian, um, and actually, I think you were named after her. So you're after named after somebody, Amanda. But your career is going to take a total, total change in your junior year, only because the concept is you're going to meet somebody who's going to empower you as a professor, and you are going to physical your 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 whole change up is going to happen. So keep your eyes and your ears open to other people as to what they're doing because i see okay. kids and i see healing all around you my love you are nothing but an amazing influence and a burst of fresh air to everybody <laughs> thank and, you and you're you are you could be the center of, of everything but you have that a power to heal it's just by talking with somebody so therapeutically <laughs> however you're going to go about it um, I just need you to understand that that focal point is going to be mainly with children. So I just, okay. I know All that right. for a fact, teaching, whatever, but I know, thank you, guardians. Okay, sweetheart? All right, thank you. You're welcome, 919-518-9773. You want to take that other call before I do a chat? Like yes, I think I want you to go and talk with, let's see, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hi, hey, how are you? Hey, I'm awesome. I'm trying to get through everybody's questions. What's up, my love? I hear you. I have a million things. So I'm just going to tune into one thing, um, and that's probably my son, who has, I've had, my middle son, who I've had a lot of problems with, but I'm, I think he's on the right page. I think we're on the right page to a lot of healing. Um, had a lot of stuff going on in the past two years. My stepdad wasn't with me. He's building a relationship within himself. I just kind of want to see where what you see as far as his path. I know my dad is sick in the hospital now. He's afraid to go away to a, a troubled teen camp where he can make some positive things because he's afraid he won't get to say goodbye to him. Um, and I'm afraid because I don't know how to. I feel I come to major source to our family, and I just don't know how to pull my strength to hold it all together. I, I know you're going to hold your strength together uh, because that's what you do best. You're an amazing mother. 
amazing daughter and daughter-in-law and an amazing wife. And the guardians have only... I'm not a wife them, anymore, uh, though. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? I said I'm not a wife anymore. I went through a divorce, so thank God. And <laughs> well, that's I'm okay, praying I'll just... have a normal man one day. No, no, you will. I know that's coming, but I'm not saying I said you were an amazing wife, too. Not your wife now. I, Everything about right. you, all they tell me was you were an amazing. You did nothing wrong on that, too, just so you know. Um, but it was his, and it, it was his, and his, it's his big loss. But with your son, he does need, thank you, he does need to go to a program or camp that will help set up the course to help other people. And you need to stop worrying about how everybody else is going to find a way out of something where you're stuck in the, in, 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 in the box. Do you get it? Everything around right. you, you're worried about. You can't control everything. And we don't want you to. Because it's all about you. Because without you, these people will not be next and, and go further. Do you get that? Yeah, and, and you can cry. It's cool. Listen to me. If you don't start taking care of yourself and you don't go out there and you don't put yourself out there, your damn walls this high, okay, about getting hurt again because nothing you did wrong in your marriage. He was his, he's the fool. You need to have somebody in your life to love you, care for you, and cherish you and help you through these journeys. And you've got to get yourself out there. You've got to get back out and hang out with the friends. You've got to, go, you've got to re innovate with people. And I want you to, this moment forward, thank you, this, the Guardians are pushing, pushing for you to start something for yourself. Because without you starting, everything will work out. But you need to figure out how you're going to fix you. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm afraid of I'm afraid of letting somebody else hurt me and use me. Nope, not gonna happen. You're talking to a medium and three wonderful guardians, and today God gave you the opportunity to call in and get some help. So use it. You can always email me with anything else that you want. You now just don't have a medium; you have a friend. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Email me and and and. and and email me and, and, and remind me again. Just put your name on it and whatever else you have to say. And, and I want you to Facebook me on my private page. So email me and I'll forward the other stuff. Okay. We'll work it out. Okay. All right. 919-518-9773. You're welcome, my love. It'll be great. Tears are good. Rebecca wants to know, is my mother Sandy with me and am I doing it right? Because you'll know what she's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing it right. <clears throat> um, back. You're doing it right. Thank you. You're doing it right. Because you need to add some things to it. So, um, you know, I know, I know that you take care of like everybody, and you do everything for everybody. Also, <clears throat> you need to add some smudge into that situation. Also. And the things that are around you. And you're definitely doing it right. And you could kick it up a notch yourself, you know. And um, what's going on with um, with the land? <clears throat> There's something going on. Excuse me. I have to cough. Uh, There's something going on other, Becca. Besides, um, with everything going on, there's a financial situation going on. Um, and you need to address that ASAP. Do me a favor. Go through a check in a book or go through some kind of account situation. <laughs> And, um, and, uh, it's also a tax station thing. <clears throat> so you need to really, really, uh, focus on that too. Um, and you also, also desperately need to kind of change up your style and the way you're, uh, way you need to come up to the 2020s. That's what, that's what it, your, your dad said. The mail figure said, um, so whatever number you're calling in, everybody keeps calling in and getting through. Um, I'm glad that I'm helping everybody out today. What are we doing Tuesday? Okay, so I don't even know what time it is. Oh my god, it's almost nine o'clock. Okay. All right, everybody, guess what? I need sponsorship. If you don't sponsor, uh, if you sponsor Carrie Psychic Cafe, and you want to know something about it, um, a banner goes across and goes and shows the whole world what you're show, what you got, what you got going on, and what's what everything is about, what we do here. And your show is like, see where the screen is, where the host is. It goes across it. I don't know. Amon, does it go to other shows too? Oh, yeah. Okay, it goes to all the shows. Well, all let me the shows. Tell you, 
Okay, so we need sponsorship. So if you click above me on my website and you sponsor this, um, and anybody that sponsors me gets one free reading a month by sponsoring me, just so you know. And it's a 40-minute 40, 40 session, and it can help you with career, your life, everything. All you got to do is click above my head. You sponsor me, I read you. It's a border thing. Um, and also on Tuesday night, 8 p.m., the Breaking Free Show, Marilyn Channing. Usually, yes, she's on Monday, but we got this one going on. We got this one rolling on, on, um, on Tuesday. Everybody is asked time and time again, tons of emails. When are you going to be interviewed, you and Tom? What is it like living with a psychic? Any questions that you ever wanted to ask anybody, you could ask live. Um, it's 8 o'clock. It's the Breaking Free Show. You go through it through the Breaking Free. There's an event that's made on Facebook. And if you don't know about it or hear about it, you could actually um, go to a Breaking Free Show. It's 8 o'clock, just like you did today. Um, and it's live. And Tom and I will be um, talking about what it's like, what my career paths are, where I'm going to be, where I'm going. And it's going to be going good. Also, just so everybody will know, um, I do. Try to make me cry that night, which, which yeah, well, we're gonna try to do whatever we can to make Tom cry. Whether I don't know what it's gonna be and how I'm gonna do it, but tune in. You never know what's gonna happen on our show. Um, also, what I'm trying to do is find a team here in New Jersey to do the paranormal investigation with. I really, really thought about this a lot. Um, being on all these shows that I'm going through and everything like that. And I really want to like know if anybody is interested in, in, in getting a medium psychic aboard their team in New Jersey or um, they want to develop the concept, I'm looking forward to it. So you can email me and click above my head and uh, we can also further discuss that again. Um, and also just wanted to let everybody know that um, that there's so much going on in life and there's so many opportunities in, in the world, but nobody has a free show like this that I know of. Um, we here at um, Carrie Psychic Cafe believe that everybody deserves one that question that could change their lives. Um, and that um, God and my beautiful guardians, I have three of them, um, and I are um, here to help you um, live every Sunday. And we are not going anywhere. So, again, um, you could um, get a reading, group reading, events. I do all that. I do Skype. and I do in person if you're in New Jersey, Connecticut, or Pennsylvania. And, um, you know, all you got to do is listen. You know, missing person cases. I'm just doing a homicide case now. I mean, seriously, people, this is real. We are real here. Paranormal is real. We came kidding me? I had 152 or- orbs at my studio one time. This stuff is real. 2013 is for the year for all of us, man, to hit it. Um, so I'm going to read a, a question in the chat room. Laura wants to know, what is, what is an order? What is... It's Laura with L-O-R-A. Laura wants to know. That's how he writes Laura. So like that's how that. Okay, that, yeah, that's how you spell Laura. Anyway, Laura, all right, Laura, L O R A. Tom said wants to know what is what is in order with my son Brett going to boot camp for trouble team. Oh, she just called in. We just called in, didn't you? Yeah. And my said that we just took care of her. Yeah, Say, tell tell Tom. I mean, they teach how to spell Laura in ninth grade, and that's why he couldn't do Say, it. Well, she- <laughs> No, how about this? I just had a long conversation with Laura on the phone, and the chat king can't keep up with that crap. Yeah, tune in, everybody, Tuesday. You're going to have a ball. That's where the reality show's coming from. All right. Mike Ray. Mike Ray. Hey, Care. Hey, Mike. I have developed feelings for for an unhappily married woman. Your thoughts? Run. Don't waste your time. What are you kidding me? That stuff don't work. Guardians like Delon. Don't. What are you talking about here? Um, just be friends. Don't. Don't like go into that. Don't open and close door. Don't open a door that somebody else already has. You don't take whatever somebody else has. Wait. If she wants you, baby, just let her leave. Let her leave quietly. Divorce and then roll with it. Never, never not close your doors. Please. Thank you, Guardians. Like and also, what the hell's going on with your job? There's something going on with your job. There's going to be some. Oh. Dude, you're going to get, like, a raise and your character change. There's going to be, like, some... There, there's another... Oh, listen. Don't don't worry about the married woman. There's somebody else that's in your life that actually has the eye for you. And her... Thank you. Can you give me a name? Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl, with an S. Please go for it. Stay all away from the happy billionaire man, woman right now, okay? Unhappily married. She says you're unhappily married. Then why isn't she divorced? God. Seriously? Anyway, Kristen. Hey, baby. Hi, Carrie. Is there any of my uncle's... Hi, Carrie. Is there any that my Uncle Tony wants to communicate to my dad? Oh, hey. Hey, Chris. Is that our Kristen? Yes. Hey, our Kristen. Hey, Uncle Tony. Oh. 
Oh, you need to do with the diabetes, okay? You need to really, really, really tell your father that he needs to go on a different um, a different scale of the diabetes. And it's, oh, all right. So Uncle Tony says it's, a thi it's the thyroid. It's, it's an underactive thyroid, but it's more, what are they doing? What am I saying? Goiter. Okay, goiter. It's a goiter. It, it's 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 something that they had to cut out years ago. My mom actually had this where they took the goiter out, and it's a thyroid thing, and he has a sugar and diabetes thing, and that he's worried about the business that it's not going to go flushing, and he needs to market more. And um, mom's worried about everybody, and you're the shining star, Kristen. You're the shining star, man. You're awesome. You are so awesome. She, Kristen is the most beautiful young girl. You can meet her like like any man would fall in love with her like in a minute, and that would probably hurt them. But And your father needs to really think about his blood pressure. Please, please, please go to a doctor. Go to a doctor. Because your job and your and what you do in the sales thing is really going to kick in your butt. Thank you, little because Tony's like, look at and what the hell's going on with with your with my our other brother? He's like, what, where, where's he headed? Like he's selling the cars, he's doing that, he's trying to play the, the the whole comedy thing. Like who's doing the comedy thing? He's like, you know, if he goes and gets a manager, he might actually be successful in it. Just so you know, thumbs up. Um, okay, so I wanted to just do a little bit of a recap right now because I know that we have tons of people still in chat. But listen, yeah, more listen, there's not, there's not. There's, everybody needs to understand that it's watching my show tonight and whoever tuned in and how many God we help that this new set communications has a lot more than just the psychic on it. Not that I'm not the bomb, but I'll tell you right now um, that what we have is you missed, and I don't know why you missed the computers, uh, 2K now. That's Amnon, my producer uh, show, and it's on Sundays. It starts at 9 and it's to, usually 12, but it can run over because there's four guys and anything you ever want to know about computers or making the right choices and, and everything. Sports. And sports. <laughs> No, no, it's the right thing to do. Um, I'm just going to let Tom take over. And health in. Debbie Brooke, she rocks. Holistically, this woman is a brainiac, okay? Monday's 11 to 12 noon. You got you to tune into her show. She was every doctor. Her husband also is an amazing man. Amazing. They are too spiritual. They are amazing at what they do. But Debbie, um, talk about prepare for a show. Talk about blood. Talk about anything. Holistic, anything. Debbie brings it to the table. Marilyn, Marilyn Shannon usually on Mondays, 11 o'clock to 12. Um, I mean, Marilyn's uh, usually Monday nights from 8 to 9. But this week, and this week only, she's Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Uh, Break your free show with Tom and Carrie on as how you live with a psychic. God help her. Marilyn Shannon, she's the hostess with the mostest. Julie Seibert. Julie has an amazing show. We, we're awakening your, your brilliance. And she's on Wednesdays at 9 o'clock to 10. Julie can take anything that's in, in, in like this her horrific, horrific unbalancedness and bring it together. She works with people in order to bring the positivity. Stop, have procrastinate. You, you procrastinate on everything you do in life. Jules will set you free. Okay. So understand that all our shows here are live like this is. You chat, you call, you talk, you get it all on these like communications. And we rock. So Tom has about a couple more questions. And then any, anybody that needs to talk with, hey, Mel, will my love life pick up and be more than just a casual hookup? Hey, Mel, what's up? Is that, I hope this isn't my niece. Is this my niece? I have no idea. Oh, my God. I hope not. Hey, Mel. Um, I just want to say. Ah. Okay, so Mel, what's going on with the car? I'm gonna. I, there's something about a car as far as selling and buying a truck and doing something like that. And Mel, can I ask you a question? Um, what well, it's the men and it's the choices. Niece, says, no. no, I know that. They just told me that. Could you just not say it? I know she's not my niece. Well, I, I know you're not. They told me already. So before I could say it, big big man over there told me. So it's your choices that you make. It's your surroundings. Like, if you were to go out of your surroundings and, like, actually, like, go out, because of how beautiful you are, and go out and try to find somebody other than what you are, are settling for. It's like me, like, when I was younger, and I'm not talking about him, chat room guy. I'm talking about, you have that, like, this on your forehead. So, you got to, like, break that. You got to understand you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and your confidence level needs to build and bring down the freaking wall. Just because you were, thank you, just because, I will tell my way, just because you're hurt doesn't mean that it's going to last forever like you were hurt before. Like, it's not about, oh, I want a boyfriend. Oh, I wanted to. No, no, no. You need to meet your soulmate, your soulmate. And it's not where you're looking. It's not where you're looking. And it's not where you're working. And it's not anything. Your soulmate actually comes with a child. And it's a girl. Her name is Brianna. 
So I just want you to know that you're going to be just fine. Um, Pam also wants to know, does my BFF, I have a lot of BFFs, that passed in April 2000 look over me. Does she have anything to tell me? Oh, hey, Pam. You know, she, girl, you know she, well, she has a lot of problems with the family that she's with. Thank you. Pam, she totally has problems with the family. I don't know if you're in contact with them or you have association with them, but they have some serious issue, family issues going on right now. She's okay and she looks over you, but she wants you to concentrate on knowing that some things that you do are, and you procrastinate, like I just said, wow, so funny, I had Pam's question about procrastination. Um, some things you need to do in order to get your life in order. Um, and I'm not saying you have about, you're a totally awesome, awesome chick with spirituality that would believe that heal the world, but you have some business to clear up and also about retirement issues. You need to also think about their future as far as where it's going to be and where are, and how you're going to plan it out. John Hancock, okay, so she told me you need to invest in some kind of a future retirement plan and they're throwing out John Hancock, so whatever that is, take it and roll with it. Okay, Charlene wants to know, <laughs> also Pam, you're a great person. All right, Charlene, hey, Carrie, could you tell me if the infant I had to give up 45 years ago is he okay? Does he hate me? It's deep. Okay. Okay. You're a grandmother. You're a grandmother times three. Okay? Um, and just so you know, your son has numerously, numerously wanting to contact you. Wanting to uh, feel the need in order to understand, because one of his sons have a disability. The disability comes from a structural neurological disorder, which is a family-run trait. Um, you need to um, understand that I don't think he hates you. Thank you, Guardians. I don't think say. You, he doesn't hate you. He dishonors what you did, but you did it because you had to. And that's the value that they said. It's not like, oh, gee, I don't want my kid. You could not do it. Um, you need to let them know that. You need to find them. I can help you find them. I'm just not going to say it nationally. You need to email me because you want to know his. You want to know where his location and you want to know where he is. I will. The guardians will be glad to tell you. Okay. Actually, actually, uh, an aunt figure would love to tell you. He, she's been watching over him for a very long time. Now it's your time, Shirley. Char, Char, do what you got to do. All right. Um, uh, we're still taking uh, these uh, wonderful questions here. Oh, these are the first questions. Oh, these are the last, uh, second uh, question. All right, but we're almost. Uh, we're, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna be on for another uh, two more minutes, and then when I'm done with the last question, um, Linda, I need to know if any guardian angels, if I have guardian angels, and how I commune with them. Hey, Linda, um, that's something. I mean, that's a great question. We all have guardians. How much you have? One and. Oh, all right. So two lives, one guardian. Uh, wow, Linda. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, could you just email me or Facebook me because we'll go over it and I'm going to teach you how to channel. That's not a problem, and it doesn't cost anything to learn how to channel. But yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and Lily is our last question tonight in chat. And if you want to stay in chat a little bit longer, time will do that. But um, you can always email me, book a reading. Again, I do everything in person, Skype, everything at Carrie www.carriesecondcafe.com, but tonight you can just click above and you get an extra 15 minutes on your readings if you book them tonight. Book them fast because booking goes fast. Believe me, these goes like that. Okay, Lily from Idaho. Hey, Idaho. Idaho in the house. Do you have any feelings about Dustin and Pepper? Dustin and Pepper's baby? Yeah, do you have any feelings about Dustin and Pepper's baby? Are we talking about Lily people or, or dogs? Yeah, are... well, what happened with their animals? Dustin and Pepper, babies. I'll ask her. Can you please ask her? Because now I get, I get, I see, I see, I don't see, ba I see babies and I see animals. So where am I going here? Guardians, are, guardians are never confused. But okay, so I'm going to throw this out there. Dustin and Pepper. I'm feeling that they're, babies. they're. There's their children, right? Yeah. So ask her, if, and they're also telling me something about an animal that, that has actually been gone and is 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 with them all the time. Lost baby. Yeah, they died, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and just okay. She, all right, so I'm feeling that there's a lot of death around here, but they're also is that they're with the 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 babies. The baby has. I'm only really seeing one. All right, so can you please straighten me out here? Miss No, would you please one She's second? All right, you don't have to tell me. Tell them to stop. 
Guardians hate that. Um, dislike that. I'm sorry. They're with you. But they also have an animal that you have lost with them. So that's where I get the two, okay? And they have no problem with reestablishing and coming back as being with you constantly. But the, the mother figure that holds both of them has got a problem with some things that you're doing. And Lily needs to understand it. Lily, you need to take the opportunity to understand and listen to Carrie today and um, straighten out the business. Um, stop worrying about what could have, should have, had been and what everything else is going on in the world um, and worry about you and, and what's going on in your world, okay? You got, you got some issues going on, especially, oh, wow, really? So outside, when you look outside your house and you look over, um, there's a neighbor or there's somebody there that, is not, that, has, that has a tremendous amount of help for you. If we do yourself a favor and, and just go and please attend to them and um, let us know how that goes, there's something going on. There's something going on. Um, and there's something going on also in the development over there with that household that they need your help with. But you need to understand that um, those spirits are, are with the people that are your guardians if you choose to. So, um, yes, everything's fine. I want to thank everybody tonight. And I want to thank Amnon. I want to thank Nick. I want to thank Tom in the chat and use Everybody that calls in tunes in, watches the show, and tells somebody about the show will make this show completely successful. The reason why I do this, and it's not cheap, I don't like just get the show for free, okay? The reason why I do this is because of the Guardians, I should say, um, is that somebody needs that one question in life answered, and who am I and my Guardians say, who are we to stop you from getting it? So... What we ask is that you tell somebody, and if you know somebody that needs help, book a reading. Again, you get you, 50, you get you get more time onto your reading if you book it, and you go up to the website. You could Facebook me; it's Carrie Ann Hartley Sokowski, and uh, you could tweet at me, and um, you could actually just like I said. It, and we're here every week. We're here live. We're here everything. And do not miss Tuesday. Am I told on my Facebook page? Carrie Ann Hartley Sokowski. Oh. And on my public page, if you like that, it's Carrie Sikowski. Um, So much to say over my boasting. Again, these are communications as everything for you to ever want. Um, Tom and I, as everybody requested, you got it. We're going to have our live interview on Tuesday at 8 o'clock at the Breaking Free Show at Nissan Communication. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Um, it will be hysterical. And um, I want to thank you. I want to say that the Guardians thank you. I hope we helped everybody. And again, if I didn't get to you, you're welcome to email me one question. And I always get back to you. You can ask everybody. And you have any good stories, please do me a favor and call it. A call them in, okay? Whatever happens to you, wherever we go down this road, we always want to know about good news. Join me on the other shows I'm going to be on because you can actually ask a free question on my other shows. Um, I want to thank you. I want to say have a great night. And God bless. And um, Thank you again, and join us again next week live. Night, everybody. Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Sundays 9 a.m. till noon, Carrie's Psychic Cafe with Carrie Silkowski, Sundays 8 till 9 p.m., Health Inn with Debbie Brooke, Mondays 11 a.m. till noon, Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Mondays 8 till 9 p.m., Reawaken Your Brilliance with Julie Seibert, Wednesdays 9 till 10 p.m., and if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by thatvidblasterguy.com, carolinaapparel.com, and deltaforce.net.